There's a mysterious zone far out in our solar system. It's a region of ice worlds, some solitary, some with moons. Their names may be unfamiliar. Eris, Makemake, Haumea, but they hold clues to all our origins. And the first of these worlds, and the one we'll reach in 2015, is the king of the Kuiper Belt, Pluto. The long journey of NASA's New Horizons mission began in 2006 aboard America's biggest, baddest rocket, tricked out with every conceivable booster. We built a very light spacecraft and bought a very large launch vehicle, and the combination is ferocious. But in some sense, it all began in 1930 with Clyde Tombaugh, 24 years old and fresh off a farm in Kansas, but willing to spend long hours scanning star fields to find a moving point of light. Humanity's first glimpse of Pluto. The dream of actually getting to Pluto began with a six-year-old boy in love with science who grew up to lead a team of brilliant researchers and engineers with dogged persistence through decades of planning and building and testing. A race against time just to get to the launch pad. Exploring the outer solar system, because it's so far, takes a lot of time. It requires a lot of patience, a lot of dedication, a lot of perseverance, but it's the frontier. Assuming all goes well at Pluto, NASA may choose to extend the adventure further out into the Kuiper Belt, the solar system's mysterious third zone. This is maybe the one chance in my lifetime that we're going to get a spacecraft out there and look up close at one of these Kuiper Belt objects. December 6, 2014. New Horizons wakes up for the last time from hibernation. New Horizons is speeding towards Pluto at a phenomenal rate, and we can't wait for it to get there. January 27, 2015, six months of approach science begins. July 14, 2015, New Horizons' long journey, three billion miles, nine years in flight, and 85 years of speculation about Pluto climaxes in one day of close approach and flyby. You know, we're around in third base and we're headed home. The dream, the adventure, the promise of discovery. That's what makes 2015 the year of Pluto.